everyone. I uh, thought I'd do a quick video update about how things are going. So, firstly, we are going to print in four days. So I'm really, really excited by that. Um, we've got an excellent printer lined up. The book files are all looking good. Um, I, I couldn't be happier. So really, really excited by that. Um, after the books go to the printers, for the following week or two after that, I'm going to be sinking my teeth into the digital files and getting those ready. Because they, they do take a little bit of time to set up because you need to do the artwork a little bit different to print files and I've got to set up bookmarks and hyperlinks and um, work with drive through RPG and things like that. So that'll keep me busy. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about, uh, oh yeah. Um, so obviously we didn't reach our delivery date goal, but we, we all kind of knew that was going to happen as soon as this project got a lot bigger than we expected. But I'm really happy with how we've been progressing though. I have learned a few things. Um, I think the first thing that really threw me off the most was editing. So I, I, basically I've been editing for like the last four months or more. Um, um, that just ended up being such a, a larger thing than I expected. It, and I've also discovered that editing is a little bit like art in that it's not ever really complete, it's just kind of stopped. I'm really happy with how it's going though in terms of like the books, a lot more succinct now, they're neater, um, typos got gotten rid of. Um, I know, of course, you're not going to get it perfect, but it's been a great benefit to have an editor come on board and work with me to sort of get this thing all neatened up. So that's been really good. Um, the second thing that we've had some unexpected problems with was we did have some problems with writing the second adventure. Um, so it's written now, but it will go to the printers a little bit later than the other books. The problem we had, like the first writer we had, unfortunately had some family health issues. He had to travel to look after his father. So we passed the writing on to the second writer. And then unfortunately, he also had some family health issues. He had to go have a look after his mum. And that was, that was really unfortunate, but these things happen. Um, I don't expect it to slow down the final delivery at all. So that, that's all right. Um, the next thing I want to talk about was um, between what am I going to be doing between now and when the books finally get posted out. So I've got a nice sort of gap for sort of a month and a bit. So there's a couple of things that I'll be filling my time with. First thing is I'm getting married in August. So we're really excited by that. Um, the books will actually be arriving to my place just a couple of weeks after I get back from my honeymoon. So it's actually been nice, you know, get the books to the print, get married, come back and then do delivery. So the, the timing worked out well. Um, the other thing that I've been spending a bit of time on is thinking about what comes next. So there's two main things I've been thinking about and working towards. The first thing is a, a card game. So I've been working with a Queensland company called Rule and Make. Those guys do fantastic work um, about the idea of doing a Fragged Empire card game. So I don't, unfortunately I don't have anything to sort of share about that. We're still exploring it, seeing whether it's feasible. Um, so that, that's pretty exciting. The other thing we've of course been looking into is more books and I think that's just a given. So we've been exploring a few different options and I'd really be keen to hear people's thoughts on this. So the first thing we've been thinking about most obviously is just more Fragged Empire setting books. So Protagonist Archive, um, Antagonist Archive 2, which we're going to start on production and maybe some extra sort of stuff. The other things we've also been exploring is the option of using the rule system that we've got, but designing some additional settings for that. So, I, man, I've been having a fantasy setting that's been tinking around in my head for a while now. Also been thinking about a pirate setting and a few different things. So just exploring different options. Um, so once all the books go out, we're gonna try and lock down some budgets for some of these projects and then we'll let you guys know. Cool, okay, thanks very much.